my mixtape yeah this is my passion y'all ain't ready for the tape and the game will tap and i just really want to make a man i'll make it happen and there's gonna be more than just pointless stab and drop love and i found a new outlet girls on me ass where they need a new outfit yeah it's that z too low no she my flow yeah 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 it's that z too low no
Yeah, it's that Z, super flow, no, she my flow Yeah, 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 yeah It's that Z, super flow, no, she my flow Yeah, 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 yeah It's your boy, it's your man, young Josh A coming through with the plan I wrote a couple songs and I gained a couple lies Moved to Orlando, now I'm living fine Yeah, I got a brain for a dentist and I train like a menace But the passion is music, I've been in it for a minute I'm Get my life like a throwback, how far I've came in, that's so rad I remember when they said my music so bad Uh, young, shy, and chosen They laugh until they hear this young man go in I've been making the killing, just chasing my dreams Right until I cannot breathe, yeah Yeah, it's that Z, super flow No, I see my flow Man, what can I say? Other than that, I am great. I've been out of making songs every single day, and the people want more, so I'm slaving away. Bout to quit my job and in my manager, my mixtape. Yeah, this is my passion. Y'all ain't ready for the tape and the game will tap. And I just really wanna make a man, I'll make it happen. And there's gonna be more than just pointless stabbing. Drop love, and I found a new outlet. Girls on me out, where they need a new outfit. No romance anymore. Got a hand on the door, and I'm leaving that part. Of Welcome back, everybody, to Corn Bell. Here on Farming Simulator 17. Your host with, uh, not the most, Mr. Blue. Let's get our stuff back up here, folks. Uh, we are down here in the last cornfield, last field of harvest. That's right. We're uh, waiting on the combine to come down. Uh, let's get this. Oh, we can see what the combine's doing. Uh, course plays or of course play 6.2 mile an hour it's case international uh, it's got two percent corn in it uh, it's harvesting so it'll be a little bit before we need to empty uh, we do not have the big header on it no more uh, had to take it off it was getting messed up but you can see the difference here from end of this corn right here to over to here was the width of the big header and this is the width of the 16 row so yeah you put two of these to that one but it will be all right it will be all right it's going to take a little bit longer but um see what I got here big tractors for this Let's see three for big tractors don't need that all right this is what I'm looking at all right this is a mighty big plow I like this plow I think we're gonna get another one I know I saved my money for that pill but I don't know folks I, I hate keep selling grain the way I'm going Let's see, three again. That's it. Okay. Uh, let's tab to the semis here. Um, yeah, we gotta get these started back. Uh, let's drive course. Okay, so I say, please don't rear in. Uh, let's just drive course. Okay. And we'll probably just go ahead and send this guy on. He's over 75% full. So why not, right? Let's go ahead and drive course. And so we're just going to drive now. Oh, we get all of them rolling. I love it when I get some good workers. Uh, 
um, where are part? Oh, way over there. Way over here. Um, what I had to do is restart the course play, so let's go see what the combine's doing. On the case. Yeah, he's almost. Uh, ran him down here, wasn't doing nothing. It's only way I could start him out right. Uh, but he's fixing to turn around. Just, uh, hope he don't run off this ledge. That would be awful if he did. Turn, buddy. Turn. There he goes. But yeah, that's the 16-year-old corn head. And uh, I think it's going to work out a whole lot better, folks. All right, I haven't said that. I gotta be inside of it. Uh, I see. I'm gonna have to tab through these again. Oh, oh. He's fixing the dump. Let's go ahead and show him off. I don't think y'all ever seen them dumping before. Not with course play anyway. I want to hop out and let y'all see that he's going to do it himself. That's a nice truck right there. I love that truck. These guys are a little bit slow, but they do help out. Alright, he's tricks in the dump. I should have had come in the other way so they wait first and dump, but eh, lots of rock. Live and you learn. Alright, there it goes. Alright, good deal. Um I'll just get out of this and run over here. We got the uh, Shining Mac. I don't think I showed y'all this on the last episode. But uh, it's pretty nice and shiny. Got a nice uh, light bar on top. Alright, this curtain beside me is empty. Uh, I loaded it all in this in here. But we got 60,000 liters of fertilizer in this. And we're going to be using that here next episode when we'll get done with the corn. I already got these babies loaded. 20,000 in that and 20,000 in this. As you can see, they are completely loaded. Uh, we will be swinging that on the fields and to show y'all I do have all three combines put away it was rough backing those headers up well, we got the challenger over here like we're gonna put him on a planter this time around um, oh yeah I got the grain carts over here put away and there's something else I want to show y'all. I think it's on over here. Yeah. I don't think I got this in my on the uh, switcher yet. Um, not bad little Kenworth here. And as y'all can see, it looks like wheat, don't it? Oop. Wheat with a red tint. Well, that's because it's seeds. That's right, folks. This is a load of seeds. And it's on the train here. I can dump it back in right there and put it on the train, but we don't want to do that. 
I gotta take it up over here and dump it in our seed spot. Which is right over here. Now I don't know if you can course play this, but I don't know why you would, you know. Probably can't. Whoa, whoa. Dig up steering is a little slow. I don't know what those pieces are oh, flying up there. You can't hardly see them unless you turn a certain way. Um, I think it's going to be this in here. Yep, oh, oh. Okay. Unload. Um, that maybe that wouldn't it? There we go. So the next, the one up there is fertilized. This and seeds. But we'll fill these tanks up with seeds. I don't know how much they're whole. Let's see, our combine's up to 10% corn. Okay. The only thing about using a hopper bottom for this is kind of off. On your animation, but it'll be all right. At least one hopper's going in, right? Real life, you'll do one hopper at a time on something like this. And we are done. Uh, I don't know how many loads of seeds it would be, but uh, yeah, we got several hoppers or cargo boxes what do you want to call them of seeds and fertilize so. which I don't think it's going to be enough fertilize oops I, I'm better driver in real life folks I swear I need to come in here and cut these trees down and I'll make a turnaround spot one. I don't want to go out too far. Of course it ain't rain yet so that's a good thing. Alright, and you just pull under here and you can switch from seeds to fertilizer. So, there's 210,000 liters more of seeds in there, so we're going to start on another load of seeds. While that's doing that, we are going to hop in the train and finish on the load. And you can see we've got quite a few carts here. But I did, oh, come on, I unfreeze. There we go. Auto saves scares me every time. Alright, here's fertilize. So we're going to unload that. As you can see, it's going down there pretty fast. Alright, that's that load. Where I messed up was uh, I was filling these two up with fertilize, which is see they're completely full and I was going to do the very last one with seeds and start with seeds coming this way and the fertilizer going that way and uh, yeah didn't quite work that way I ended up putting seeds in more than I imagined 
looks kind of just filled them all just a little bit enough to be couldn't put no more fertilizer. All right, that's all that's on the train. Um, I think I'm going to take this bad boy and park it right here. And I'm going to see what the price is on soybeans at the railroad spot. Oh, 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 stop, stop, stop. Stop. I'm going to go back a little bit. Right, right there. Um, because I do want to get that feel. Uh, Maple Field Mill is extremely, extremely low right now for soybeans. Our highest place is this in here, or this, in, which I can take two loads down there like I've been doing, sell them at the same time, and then take two loads here. And sell them at the same time. Just only thing about it, I wish we'd get a great demand here at Maple Field Mill for soybeans. Yeah, that would really, really do the spot. But I could sell some of the sugar beets because we have a lot of them. But like again, like I said, I want to get a demand for them. Let's check out our animals while we're here. I still got to pay this loan down. Um, is this rough? Okay, our pigs are getting low. 101, 120, and 111. And our sheep's going to need to be, uh, which I could probably sell the wool. But anyway, that's just some of the things that's on the agenda. Let's get back to our. Let's see, it's going to be a big tractor. Oh, that was perfect. That was perfect timing. I know he don't need it, but I'm going to go ahead. Because this auger here is real boy. And now i got to get way out here now. And boom, done. Done, 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 done. Now the course place route I got, you know, it's typically up and down. Uh, we got from there to over the there. Um, he is not getting in no hurry. He sure don't feel up like he used to, but he was just taking a half of a header that time. This here. Like I said, he, it's only getting a half of a header. This time, he'll be taking a full header all the way down. So we really gonna be uh, getting back into business now. Let's see, about 25, I will give him room to turn around. So we are trying to get the corn finished, folks. Um, once again, I don't think it's going to be this episode. I am really, really sorry about that. Um, let's tap around and see. Uh, yeah, this guy's got grass growing again. Be all right. Mm. Yeah, this is, uh, zero percent digestate. This is where we sell the silage at. We sell the silage, we get liquid digestate. Uh, liquid digestate and manure is what gives us uh, fertilize when we'll take it up to the factory so what I'll probably do now I want to drop this tank right here for right now and see what I got in here 
think it's where we store, store Solajac. Uh, that's where we store straw. So yeah, pig food, grass, straw, total mix rations. So I come over here. I see, hey, zero silage. Okay. Uh, next spot. I see, I'm going around the other way. Would be our di uh, defragmenter that we got. Also gives us silage. You put straw, I mean, grass, you put grass in it. And. It will produce digestate and silage. So I think I should have needed that tanker. We'll probably have to get another tanker. I don't know how much manure we got. Not quite a bit. Not enough. I love it, Jake Burke. Alright, we are zero zero I can see a line in here ooh ooh okay enough we can't watch that uh, let me hop out here this thing's quit working because we are full of digestate and I should have brought the trailer and I should have brought the trailer now I do like this you can see on the door there. Let me hop out and see it better. Let me turn my speed down. Mr. Blue Farms on the door. Yeah, that dip was hard to do, folks. Should have been a little bit bigger. But it worked. Alright, I'm going to run back up over in here. Uh, 38 percent corn, so big to have empty again. Maybe I have time to get the trailer and get back down over here. Hopefully, and we need to empty our water out there too. Water tires do produce water, so that's a good thing. I just need to get another one of these tanks like this. Uh, get one for water, uh, one for digestate, one for slurry. Don't think he mixes slurry and digestate together. I think it's 80,000 liters for them. I just hope these are same digestates and they will fill this up and I don't have to have another trailer. Hey, that was Rosie standing out there eating. I see that. Alright, let's see here. All right, yeah, there we go. Almost filled her up. Well, you can definitely tell she's full. All right, well, I'm going to do sea stock farm and, and see empty. Okay. I'm going to park her right there. All right, she's still. Shut that noisy thing off. Uh, things back working. Good. We got grass in here already. And it's making silage now. So that's good. That's good. Alright. Let's go check on our combine because it's 66%. Uh, let's go ahead and unload her. Yeah, we're going to be working late tonight and see it right now. As long as I do 
well, there's harvest. We're going to try to get this field finished. And unfortunately, I got about seven minutes of record time. Wow, that MC is just way too fast. But it will work. But that's right speed for, you know, thrashing corn. Now, actually, I probably don't even need to do that. I'll sit right here and wait for it to come back. Save some wear and tear on the tractor. Already got 14 hours on them. Um, I guess what I could do is go ahead and get these guys set up. In case, make them all shiny. I wish I could remember the coordinates. Whoa, whoa, mister. I forgot I don't have the update version of uh, the follow me on this. They added uh, 10 meters to the thing. Oh, well, we're going to spray fertilizer out on the fields first. And then... Um, Whoa, where am I going? Gotta turn. Gotta turn. I'd probably get by with not clown. Because I think we done plowed it. We have done plowed it. All these fields. So, uh, we're not really... Don't have to plow right now. What I gotta do here is just uh, create this and do the actual width. Um, turn that blue off. So it's saying 24 meters. So what I wanna do is. go this way 12 I think and see what he's going to do That's about right. Let me get on over and set up a, a new line here. I'm going to lock in my GPS and see where he's at. It looks like he's just... Well, that would be right. That would be 12 meters away is what I set him to. So let's go ahead and make him 24 meters. Oh, oh, right, right there. And get going. He should scoot over. And also, I want to. up his about 10 behind me because see I'm on let me go in the store and make sure this is 24 meters uh, yeah 24 meters so that's what I'm set as on GPS so if I hop over 
and so it won't let me. Yeah, it let me get. I'm gonna switch this around. Do yeah, auto, which is 24. That just don't look right. See, I'm look like I'm overlapping him. So I guess um, wait, hang on, hang on. I'm not. I'm doing something wrong here. I'm looking at this. I need to go here. Um, course from neighbor. Okay, now that looks a little bit more right there. I guess what I'm going to do is control F and I want to go up lock on okay that's the mark for that And I want to lock. Oh, you would. Get back over here. Control F, lock back on. So I'm actually 10 and 24. And all I want to do here is just turn. Okay, that's what I want to see. So I turn that on. This gonna be a little gap right there but I think that will work all right so we're going to circle back around the only thing about doing this folks you're going to have to watch Thought I had these synced up. I guess not. Uh, oh, dang it. I don't have it installed on this. There you go. Man. Uh, what what it is, folks, is uh, it's pretty much this, but it lets you align when you tab over. Let's see, I used to be in sync. Uh oh, uh oh, we gotta hurry. Oh, I went right past. Oh man, you got way on down there, didn't he? But anyway, when you tab through your vehicles, you can set your vehicles to what you want to tab, like all the big tractors and then the combines or something like that. Because as you sell and trade vehicles, or sell and buy vehicles, I should say, they get out of line and stuff, and you put them back in line to where you want them. We are almost done with this. Um, I might do some of this off screen because it's getting pretty much all we're seeing is corn. I know this is unrealistic, but and I wish all of them would uh, empty like that. But yeah, um, I'm getting out of time now. Three minutes after the 30 minutes. I'm going to let this guy run a little bit while I set up the... Uh... 
other tractors a little bit, which they're set up. I just um, just need to work on this little corner right here, which I might just run straight. But anyway, I just got to turn them around. That's all I got to do, really. Uh, I turn them on, stuff like it. I got to turn them on. Turn her on. What? Well, what? And auto save. I need to turn that off, but sometimes when the game crashes, I like to have it on. Whoa, wait. Hello. How you doing? I guess it would have helped if I got the right one. Oh. Alright. You're going to waste a little bit, but hey. You know, you got control of another tractor there. Fertilizing. Helping you out. I might need to get another one hooked up doing this. And, uh,. Because last time it took forever to fertilize all these fields. I had to do a lot of off screen. And see, that buggy's going to be wasting some. Because we're waiting on you. And this right here might be a nuisance. But, uh. Because he's going to make a. A Yui there. I need to watch what I'm doing. I wish I had a way of controlling, like, turn yours, you can turn his off, or should I say hers, and then, uh, that would be an awesome feature if you control that back tractor's equipment on and off. Um, go ahead and set GPS here. Uh, we got some on that corner to knock out, but it'll be alright. A little over spraying here and there, but I'd rather use the dry because we can make it easier. Oh, and these liquid poop, solid poop, and we got fertilized. Well, folks, I just want to say I, I thank each and every one of y'all for coming out and joining me. Uh, I know this episode is probably a little dark, but it'd be all right, right? I hope so. Uh, our corn harvester is 31%. Folks, I don't know if y'all can see or not, but you look up there at the top left corner, and you can see everybody that I got running. Uh, Kenworth's got the seeds in it down there. It's full. Uh, we got Kentucky Farmer Truck, Peterbell, and uh, Cena. Uh, all on course play. We got to follow me and me on the Magnum. Well, the follow me is the challenger. And then you got the Mr. Blue, which is me. And then the other follow me is the other Magnum. And then you got the uh, course play of the combine at the very top, showing 42%. Now, if I take a little time, I could use course play with the Argo wagon to field the trucks, but it's a little bit more to it. Uh, your dumping spots got to be dead on every time. So, yeah. But yeah, I think since these uh, don't use very much, uh, we can run them for a while. I'm going to go straight as far as I can. But uh, I, I don't do too much of this map off screen no more because I'm working on a bunch of other maps. Uh, we're going to have No Creek Farms and Autumn Oaks coming out soon. Uh, if they're not already out when y'all see this. Um, 
Shenanigans, Corn Veil, and Upper Mississippi River Valley will all be um, episodes I play at the 2 o'clock time, 2 p.m. every day, and No Creek and Autumn Oaks is going to be the episodes probably around 11 or 11.30, and uh, we'll be going from there. Uh, you can't, yeah, you can see it by all this writing. Uh, we are right here. We started right here, and we're going down this way. I wish I had Phil 32. I really do. But we don't have it this time around. Maybe time we um, actually start to plant, we'll, we'll be able to do something with that, but I don't know. Um, Phil 48 is when I almost got the money. Uh, $3 million to buy 48. It's $5 million to buy this field so yeah so I'm gonna go all the way down to field 32 um, and then come back up that way I save more seeds that way messing with the follow me driver so yeah um, I probably should plow all the fields together and use a course play to do all this but uh, harvesting would be a nightmare having to keep up with the combines but folks I have uh, killed enough time today I'm already at 40 minutes good god what the time goes when you're having fun well anyway I just want to say thank you very much I love each and every one of y'all um, sorry for the long break I took in there but I think I'm going to be back for for good now for a little while anyway might take another vacation here soon no I'm just kidding folks uh, but anyway y'all have a, a great day a blessed day and I will see y'all later bye